Hey, what is going on everybody? It's Modded Warfare here. Welcome back to another episode of PS4 Jailbreak Tutorials. What are we on? Episode 25, 26? I've lost count at this point. But anyway, this is a video I was supposed to do earlier on in the series, but never got around to it. Completely forgot about it, to be fair. And uh, that is how to get media apps running on your jailbroken PS4. Now, you could be forgiven for thinking that you can't access media apps like YouTube, uh, Twitch, Netflix, all of that kind of stuff on a jailbroken PS4 because you need to be signed into PSN to access those apps. And obviously, since you can't access PSN on a jailbroken PS4, then you could be forgiven for thinking that you just can't access those apps. But, but actually, you can access them, most of them anyway, because what people have done is they've dumped these media apps like Netflix and YouTube and stripped the PSN authentication from the apps and then rebuilt them into a fake package version which you can install and run on your jailbroken PS4. Because these apps generally don't use Sony servers that much, just the initial authentication, the PSN sign-in. So with that removed, you know, these apps like YouTube just connects to YouTube servers and Netflix connects to Netflix servers. So you can still access uh, all of the content and access those apps on a jailbroken PS4, even when you're not signed into PSN. So I'm going to show you guys how to get a bunch of these apps and how to install them and use them here on your jailbroken PS4, as well as media player apps as well. So you can run your own media files um, from like a USB or from, you know, putting some media files on your PS4 hard drive with FTP and how to be able to run that as well on your PS4. So let's get into it. So first thing we're going to do here is switch on over to the computer. And what you want to do is go to the dark software forms. This is one of the best places I found where you can find these uh, no PSN apps. So if you go to darksoftware.net and you scroll down till you find uh, the resources section and we're looking for uh, PlayStation 4 resources and we're looking for uh, TV and video. So PS4 fake package TV slash video. If you select that option, you can see there's a bunch of streaming services here. You've got Little Star, you've got the actual media player app, the official one for the PS4. I have heard there's some issues with that. So we'll also use... Um, I'm also going to install, and I'll link in the description, a homebrew media player app from Lappy, uh, PS4 player, which, uh, you know, allows you to run media files as well. So if the official media player app doesn't work for you, then you can use the homebrew one, which should work. So yeah, you've got, all, but then you've got all these other media apps. You've got Spotify, Crunchyroll, Little Star Cinema, Netflix, YouTube, Plex, Prime Video. Uh, we've got Twitch. We've got uh, Demand5. That's a UK... Um, catch-up TV service, uh, IGN, uh, Sky TV, another UK one, uh, all four. Another, well, there's a lot of UK ones for some reason and, you know, a bunch of other ones as well. There's a second page. So, yeah, you just, you know, select the one you want. You do have to have an account on the form. You just have to like the post to view the hidden content. Then you can access the download links and download the, um, the packages. So once you've got them downloaded, as you can see, I've got a bunch of them downloaded here. So we're just going to pop those on a USB drive. Now the USB drive needs to be formatted in XFAT or FAT32 format. I've put a movie on here as well just to show showcase the media player apps working. So I'm going to go ahead and copy all of these package files to the root of the USB drive. And once that's copied over, we're then going to eject the drive and plug it into our PS4. Okay, so once we're on the PS4, obviously we're going to go onto our internet browser, go on your exploit host, whichever one you're using you know, caro218.ir is a quick one to type in. And, you know, it's it's got kind of a less busy design. It's quite, you know, quite plain, but in a good way. So, yeah, I just, I, it's just the one I tend to go for. But obviously you can use Night King's host, the Wolf Games host. Oh, there's so many other hosts out there. Uh, Al Azov's obviously uh, that you can use whichever exploit host you find works best for you, whichever one you like. Just go with it as long as it works. Um, you do have to watch out for some dodgy ones because there has been some fake payloads going around lately uh, that can damage your PS4, some fake versions of Gold Hen. Uh, so be a, just be aware of that. So what we're going to do is load up the latest jailbreak and then run your Gold Hen payload um, or Mira, of course, as well. You can run Mira. So Mira or Gold Hen to be able to run your fake package files. From there, you can then go into your settings and go down to debug settings, game, package installer. And I'm just going to install all of the apps here, all 10. So yeah, I just downloaded a bunch of different ones. I think I got YouTube, Twitch, Prime Video. Now, some of these apps are, 
are like the base app plus an update. So, you know, if you download it and there's two packages, you download a, a no PSN app and there's two packages, one will be like the base game, the base app, and then the other one will be like an update for that app. Uh, so you need to install both in order for it to work. So here we go, we've got Netflix. All right, there we go, they're all installed. So let's have a look, see what we got here. Little Star VR Cinema, Prime Video, the Media Player app. Obviously, this is the Homebrew Media Player app by Lappy. We've got YouTube, Twitch, and Netflix installed as well. And like I said, there's lots of other ones. I know Crunchyroll works and, you know, yeah, there's lots of other catch-up TV streaming services that you can access. So let's just try YouTube here, see if this works. So with the no PSN version, as you can see, it's not prompting me to sign into a PSN account and it works. Boom, we're straight in here. So I can go ahead and search and see if I can access, say, my YouTube channel. Since I know I won't get copyright claimed for playing a video from my own channel here. So we'll just go to Modded Warfare. And boom, there we go. Let's try and play the latest video. Ah, there we go. We've got an ad. That's what I like to see. Get some of that cash money. So yeah, so there we go. As you can see, it's playing absolutely fine. Uh, let's go ahead and skip ahead here. And yep, yeah, it's all working absolutely fine. So there you go. That is the YouTube app working no problem. Now Netflix, I don't actually have a Netflix account, but I can run the app and show you that it at least runs. Now, not all of these apps are going to work perfectly because these are older versions of the apps. These were dumped on, you know, maybe 6.72 PS4s or 7.02 PS4s, 7.55 PS4s. So they're not going to be the latest versions of these apps. And that means that sometimes they'll change something on the back end where these older versions of the apps will no longer work. So they may run like this, but they won't allow you to actually play any videos. So it depends which app you're doing and what version it is. Um, so far, this seems to be working for Netflix. You know, you can log into your account and everything, your Netflix account and use Netflix. Um, but sometimes the players don't work. So it just really depends on what version of the app and if, you know, if Netflix have changed something in the back end to stop the older versions from working. Um, but as far as I can tell, that one seems to work. YouTube's definitely working. Twitch, I believe, works. Um, although you may get an error here when it launches. Yeah, you get this something went wrong. So these are the kind of issues that can pop up. But that's not an issue. You can just click home and ignore that. Um, if we just go home again, home. Oh, okay. Well, never mind, I guess. It's not going to let me get out of here. Huh. All right. Well, never mind. Forget about that. There is a version of Twitch that does work, though. So I guess this newer version doesn't. If I delete that, I know the, the older one in the homebrew store works. So let me just show you that. If I go into the homebrew store, if you don't have this app, I'll link it in the description. It was episode two, actually episode three. Episode three of PS4 Jailbreak Tutorial shows you how to install uh, the homebrew store and how to set it up. But as you can see, there's a version of Twitch here. This is the older version for 5.05. So yeah, I'm kind of surprised that the newer version I tried didn't work, but this is a an older version and hopefully this one will work. Anyway, we'll go ahead and install this one right here, added to downloads. And there we go, ready to use. So I can close out the homebrew store. And okay, so this is an older version of the Twitch app, but I'm sure this version works. Uh, so you get the same error, but I can just click home and it takes me, takes me home, no problem. Uh, so let's just, you know, select a random stream and see if it works. Call of Duty Modern Warfare, is this Warzone. Yep, as you can see, it is working. Absolutely fine. No problem right there. And yeah, so there you go. That's twitch.tv. That works, that older version. So you got that working as well. And then obviously Prime Video, Little Star VR Cinema. I don't know about these. Okay, actually, I will sign in to my Amazon account to test this because I don't actually have to type in my password. I can just use this whole code and register on my computer. So I'll register device and... Yep, there we go. That works. So we'll just go ahead and log in here. All right, there we go. So I don't know. Let's just try and play something. What have we got? The Tomorrow War. Let's try that. Uh, start over. Does it play or does it not? Nope, something went wrong. So there you go. 
as you can see, it's uh, that is a problem, obviously. Let's try this one. Is that just one or two or what? This was not a great movie, but uh, something went wrong. Okay, so it's not playing. So these are some of the issues that you can run into with these apps. Um, what I would say is obviously just try different versions of the app because if people have dumped multiple versions, you can try those. Um, there's also different regions as well. So some, some of them are like the European version of the app that's been dumped and other ones are like the US version. So maybe try the different versions, a US version, European version to see which one works. So not all of them will work. I'm not sure about Netflix because I don't actually have a Netflix account to see if that player is working. I did try Crunchyroll yesterday and it worked absolutely fine. So didn't have any issues with that. Although the ads were really stuttery. I don't know if that's normal. Like the ads were stuttery, but the actual main video was playing no problem. So that worked fine. And obviously YouTube and Twitch are working fine. So for the most part, these media apps do work, but obviously you can run into some of them not working like that. Okay, so let's move on to media player apps now. So we've got the official media player app for playing, you know, videos and stuff on USB drives and obviously the homebrew media player app by Lappy. So we'll try the official one first. Now this is version 4.01. There is a older version, like a three point something version of the official media player app. That's a no PSN version as well. You don't want that version though, unless you're on 5.05 .05 because it does not work on the higher firmwares. So it will just crash if you try and run it on 7.55 or 6.72. So you need to be on 5.05 .05 for that. Whereas this version, the 4.01 version, as you can see, does run on uh, 7.55 and lower. So we're gonna go ahead and go into our USB drive and I've got the movies and as you can see, they're showing up. So initially I had the movies in the root of the USB drive. For some reason, the media player does not detect the video files if they're in the root of the USB drive. They have to be inside a folder. So I just created a folder called movies and I put these movies in here. One's an MKV, the other's an MP4. So we'll see if it plays. So we'll try Edge of Tomorrow and see if that runs. And yeah, there you go. It's running, no problem. Awesome. Uh, I've had I've heard reports from other people that uh, that it does that this does not work properly. So um, I'm not experiencing that. It seems to be working fine for me. Uh, let's go back. Let's try this one. This is an MKV file. Cannot play audio. Audio format is not supported. Okay, so I'm getting no audio on this one. Um, crap! I better. <laughs> I'm gonna have to blur this now. Uh, right. So. It is playing, that one's, the MKV file's playing without audio for some reason, but the MP4 one's working no problem. So if you do have any issues with the Media Player app, you can of course try Lappy's homebrew Media Player app called PS4 Player. So if we give this one a try. Yeah, so it seems like this one only loads from a USB drive. I'm a bit surprised. I was kind of expecting PS4 Player to maybe allow you to load the, the media files from the data folder on the hard drive as well, because then you could FTP movies onto the data folder instead of having to copy them to a USB. Uh, maybe the, he'll, he'll do that in a future update, or maybe I'm just missing the option somewhere to change the, the thing at the top instead of USB 0 to HDD. But anyway, point is, it should hopefully work here. So we go into movies. Ah, so this one only supports MP4, not MKV by the looks of things, because it's not picking up the other movie. But let's go ahead and try this so or it could be because of that audio format issue so if we go ahead and run this one this mp4 uh, edge of tomorrow as you can see it's playing just fine in here as well i can press triangle for full screen and yep that works absolutely fine so i can do uh, x to pause x to play i can also skip forward and back using the arrows the left and right arrows uh, or d-pad should i say so i can skip through like this using the d-pad so yeah, that's working absolutely fine as well. Um, so if, if it looks blurry, it's because I'm blurring it so I don't get a copyright claim. Um, it's it's The quality is is fine. It's just the same as it is basically in the, uh, the regular official media player app. It's working no problem. So yeah, and you can adjust the volume with L1 and R1. So pretty awesome stuff. Uh, so yeah, it looks like it doesn't support as many codecs and uh, file formats as uh, the official media player app, but you know, it's a handy alternative uh, if you're having issues with the official one. So yeah, that's basically it guys. That is how you can go ahead and play your video files, your media, and also how to access all of the streaming services that you might want to access 
while you're on your jailbroken PS4. We can go ahead and just add all of this stuff into a new folder called uh, media and we'll just go ahead and add all of these in here. Uh, Netflix, YouTube, Little Star Cinema and confirm and click OK. But uh, yeah, anyway, point is you can access all of these media apps uh, over the internet without requiring uh, to be signed in to PlayStation Network. So hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.